Okay, so at this point we have uh, our edges flanged and fluted. The next step is to flange our lightning holes. Um, we want to put about a 30 degree 3 8 inch flange all the way around. That's going to stiffen up the rib. So to do that we made special flanging dies. We've got a female part which is just the lightning hole with a 45 degree chamfer on it and that 45 degree allows for spring back. It fits inside our edge flanges and then we've got another piece that goes over the top of it. This top piece does two things. It sandwiches the aluminum to help keep it from warping and then we've also got our male plugs that are actually going to do the flanging and this piece helps center it. So this just pops right in there and what we'll do is we'll use a press to push this down and that'll put a flange on our aluminum. And then we get this beautiful product that looks like this. Hopefully with no cracks in it. Yes, because we've worked hard on these ribs. We don't want cracks. We'll come over here to our shop press. And this just helps provide the force. This is a 20 ton shop press. Uh, you need quite a bit of force. Um, we've got an extra piece of oak here to just help distribute the force and you can see the little black line there. Uh, that's where this plug should be once it's pressed all the way down. So keep an eye on that. We'll slowly press down here. And you can see it start to come down. Putting that flange on the aluminum. Coming down nice and even. A little bit more and there we go. So, then we just back the jack off. Such a sad little jack. This just lifts out. And you can see how it pushed the aluminum all the way around, nice and level. Gives you about a 30 degree, 35 degree flange on there. And no cracks, so that's a good one. Do the same thing with the little guy. You got the little plug in there. And just slowly lower it down. If anything, on these little ones, you want to go just a little bit less. Doesn't need to go quite all the way down. That's good. Back it off. And looks like another beautiful flange. That goes quick once you have the dies made. Yeah, and uh, some people use a, a stick to go around and do their flange rather than a die. But what's nice about this is it's even pressure all the way around with that press. So it should be pretty uh, even flange all the way around. Let me just pop these off. and we got our nice beautiful flanges and these we will not go through and flute but you do see that it, it now it puts a bow this way before when we flanged the edge it bowed this way we fluted that out now we do the holes and it bends that way so we go back through and we hammer this nice and flat again beautiful so that is nose rib number six.